Hello YouTube fans, how are you today? Well, thank you for tuning in today's vlog. If you're wondering what I'm doing down in the garage, I have a bit of a suspellment. Uh, I'm going to be hooking up a inverter to a 12 volt battery running off of the lawn tractor. Now, warning, be very careful if you decide to do this yourself with any type. A 12 volt battery. Just want to be safe. Alright, catch you in a minute. Here is my suspellment I am working on. You can see there is the lawn tractor right there. I'm going to be using the 12 volt battery to power certain items like small electronics and some light bulbs and stuff just to see what it actually can handle. Let's go down here. This is the Black & Decker uh, inverter I bought locally down at my Goodwill uh, store. It's actual 400 watts, but it actually tells me on how many amps. It says 3.48 amps. That's what is the uh, max power of this unit. It does have built-in 225 fuses built into the uh, circuit, and I have the alligator clip uh, wire sale, and of course this little disconnect and this wire is a little thin don't worry about that it will actually tell me on what it's drawing and it would beep if I am drawing too much power on this little inverter now the inverter you want to see got AC two AC plugs and a DC 5 volt for on small electronics now over here we have a HP laptop computer. Here we're going to be testing the battery on this is completely dead. We have a CFL bulb and an Edison incandescent light bulb. And over here. That is the light bulb kit I'm going to be testing the AC bulbs on. Now let's go ahead and open the hood. Let's see what we're doing with on the inside of the long tractor. There's the battery. You see, one side's the positives and one side's the negatives. What we're going to do is connect the thing up on this lawn tractor and see how the thing works. Alright, let's go ahead and stop connecting the inverter to the 12 volt battery built into the tractor itself. What we're going to do is hook up the positives and the negatives, and by the way, make sure you're away from anything explosive like gasoline or anything, but the gas tank is all the way in the back of the lawn tractor. First of all, make sure you don't have your inverter plugged in just yet. Make sure you plug that in first. You don't want any types of spokes or anything. We just want to make sure everything is going to go to plan and make sure I hook up everything right. Now how do I uh, do this with a tractor battery? It's so simple. There is the connection of the kill. Take the alligator clip on that side. And take the on alligator clip on this side. It might be a little bit of spots, but that's okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the hood, the cover here. Uh, what I can do this test tail is to make sure nothing is going to blow. That off to the side. First of all, what we're going to test first is the light. We're going to do with the CFL bulb first. Put this on top. Do this in. And I have a point in this way because I just want to make sure the other thing is going to work like it's supposed to. Now I do not have the inverter turned on yet. Turn that on. And see it's probably not perfectly fine. Let's 
see if my black and decal and modal can power a simple AC Edison light bulb. This is only a 38 watt bulb. Now anything higher than the max rating of this unit, she will let you know and it will beat back up very easily. This is just me testing light bulbs, and yes, I will be testing out the computer and see if it actually can handle a laptop computer. There you go. Simple as that. Power is perfectly fine. The fan noise ain't too bad. Some people complain about the fan noise being too loud, but honestly, I actually like that. I like the sound of the fan when I turn it on because it knows it's getting the power like it needs. Now this is a CFL bulb, the quality Q bulb nobody doesn't want really to like. But this is a Sylvania uh, 15 watt light bulb. And this one is a GE 38 watt light bulb. Both can be powered off of this very small black and decal and motor. All right. Let's get testing the actual computer and see if it can actually handle this beast of a computer. Alright, let's see if we can get the HP laptop computer working with a 400 watt uh, black and decal inverter with a energy saving CFL light bulb and I will show you how everything is connected on the actual battery on how everything somewhat works. Let's flip the switch. Perfectly works perfectly well. And let's flip the switch on the computer. Okay. Now I can have both things on it. Now with the uh, Edison light bulb, you can't because this would draw too much power and so would the actual laptop itself. Now let's go ahead and turn this off and let's see what you can do it up to. Now I do apologize if the uh, unit doesn't want to respond correctly because sometimes the computer can be quite funny today on, on how to restart stuff when there's no more. Ah, oh, so, now to the top button. <laughs> but yes, this will work perfectly fine off of the end level with a CFL uh, energy saving bulb. All right, now let's see if this actually fully boots and see what it does. Now, of course, we're not going to bore you. Alright. Now, y'all have been waiting for me down the testing this HP laptop computer. Can this black and decal in total how this laptop? We're going to find out. And let me explain here on the PowerBook. The PowerBook is a uh, 65 watt. Uh, power brick itself, but the computer is probably more than that, it only pretends on what you want to use. Now, of course I have a light bulb in there, and I want to see if uh, this inverter can handle both loads on both AC outputs on the inverter itself. Before I do this, let's warn you for one thing, if you have a computer it has a dead battery. It may work, it may not work. This battery here is completely dead. I'm going to take this out and I'm going to show you how this actually operates like it's supposed to. Here we have the AC plug going into the computer. Now we don't know if it's going to handle the oil thing. Let's go ahead and turn it back on because it turned it off. Alright, 
Let's hit this. Over here. Get beetle. Over here. And let's just do a go around. No light staying on. Ta da! It actually works. I can function off of this black and knuckle and vertical with this laptop computer. Of course, it's going to fully boot up and I have to shut it all down. Now, one test I want to do is see if we trip out the envelope by turning on a light. Well, somewhat. What? The computer got knocked out. Let's see. It can't power to too many things at once. It can only power so little things of what you can plug into it. Now, let's take out the Edison bulb and put one of those energy saving bulbs in. Like, you know, play through bulb. Just to see what it does. Alright. This experiment does seem to work very nicely with the laptop computer I am running off of a 12 volt battery with a inverter, with a black and decorated inverter, because the battery in the laptop is somewhat dead, but that's okay because I can still use it stationary because it's no longer portable because the main battery is dead in the laptop. But the one thing I did disconnect for right now is the actual light itself. But you can run both things at the same time. But make sure you decide to use a Cooly Crew bulb, a CFL bulb, or an LED bulb if you want light in case if you're working on your computer. Now, here you go. Here is the HD laptop computer working perfectly fine off of this 400 watt mini inverter I picked up at my local Goodwill. Now, of course, this is the tractor and the battery is on the inside. Let's take a look, shall we? Alright, on the inside of the tractor, we have this 12 volt battery. You can see there's the positives and there's the negatives. Let's go a little closer before you can see. Alright, there you go. Now, this does work perfectly fine if you plan on using this for a short amount of time of using your inverter. Alright, if you're still joining this channel, please hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below, please like, please share, peace out, bye guys and girls, well I hope we see you in the next vlog. Thank you for watching, and have a very nice day. I hope this kind of helped you if you want to experiment with a 12 volt battery and a inverter. Have a nice day.